Tabs on these uh, Spartans, and there's a shot by McQuaid is good for two points. Four to two now, the Spartans lead. We dropped one to Moberly, 67 to 56, our last encounter. Russell to Barnes. Barnes going to the basket, a whistle. And uh, we have another uh, fouling violation. This one on Lucas, Daryl Lucas, as he picks up a personal. He moved in uh, the way of Alan Barnes as he was driving for the basket. And in that uh, respect, charged with a, a violation. Alan Barnes, the one shot. Foul coming up. Barnes, and it's in, out, and back in for one point for Barnes. So it's four to three now. The Spartans with a point lead. Across the line goes fast Lucas. In the corner is McQuaid. McQuaid trying to get around Waterman. Hands off to Van Lettingham. McQuaid, Lucas. Underneath the basket was Williams. He tried to uh, left-hand pivot. Uh, well, no good. Barnes, uh, Waterman, bring the ball up. And it's Russell. Waterman now with the ball. Across to Alan Barnes on the right side. Boots the right of the key. Russell in the corner. Back to Waterman. He's going to fire over his head up, and it's a beauty. Waterman, two points for the Jackets. Mid-state conference game. Moberly up the line. On the left side, on a dribble is Lucas. A fast uh, ball handler here, and a good player. Ball is knocked out of uh, Welling Tam by Bishop. And Bob Bishop for the Jackets will be charged with a personal. The Lanningham at the uh, bonus line for the uh, Spartans. The only team of Spartans I'm familiar with that we have around here. One shot coming up, and it is bounces high and back, and Bob Bishop catches the ball coming off the ring. Bishop to Barnes. 4-5, Lebanon with a one-point lead. Across the timeline, into Russell it goes. He's going to try it over Carr's head up, and it bounces away. The ball is handled by McQuaid off the backboards. McQuaid still on a dribble, hounded by Barnes, and across the center line it goes. On the left, McKean in the corner, McQuaid up the stage, Lucas rather, and Lucas fires for two points from the corner. A very nice arching high shot from the left corner right through the basket. So it is 6-5 now with a Spartan lead. Waterman goes through on a drive, a whistle. He may get a charging violation. He does. Uh, Waterman charging through the line, and uh, it's an offensive foul. The Spartans will haul the ball in from out of bounds. Lucas almost stepped on the line on that throw-in. It would have been an automatic turnover for the Jackets, but he kept it. And uh, McQuaid up. The shot is blocked by Carr. The, the Spartans maintain control, though, however. McQuaid and Lucas in the back here. Now, Lucas once again for that three, uh, for that shot in the corner. He was three, but it uh, was missed. And it'll be out of bounds off the hands of Carr, shooting or throwing the ball in will be uh, Mike Williams. He gets the ball into the Lanningham. Lucas now with the ball. McQuaid, the left side, he was free. Oh, they've got to watch those boys. McQuaid uh, put one in for the Spartans there, so it's 8-5 to five now. The Moberly boys with a three-point lead. Waterman and Barnes into Bob Bishop on the left side. He tries to get away from his guard there with Lanningham. Bishop to Waterman to Bishop. Bishop fires, and it's a beauty from the left side this time. Trading sides. Bob uh, put one in from the right side for two and the left side for two. Now then, the Mobley boys don't uh, get many hurry on this. Bring the ball down. Levitin has Russell, Bishop, and Carr underneath the basket. And trying to shoot over Waterman's head was, uh, was uh, Morris, but he couldn't get it away. It was a jump ball, and it will be Morris and Carr at Mobley's basket. Uh, Lebanon, uh, Boberly is at the cafeteria side. And the tip goes into Lanningham. He goes up on a drive. The shot is blocked by Carr. And it was knocked out of bounds. Mike knocked it out, and it'll be the uh, Spartans ball in. Mike Williams, the 6'6 senior, tosses it into uh, Morris. And a long shot by McQuaid is no good. And a rebound play by Lanningham, no good. And the ball ends up in a jump again. here so far. We had a fine B game up in the air. The ball goes. It's tipped to Barnes. Alan Barnes. There's traveling violation on Alan Barnes. He was being chased by Darrell Lucas and Alan Barnes. Crowd didn't like that call. Barnes took off on a big fast drive and uh, possibly could have made it. However, Lucas was right behind him. Lucas throws in to McQuaid and a foul will be called on Waterman. A tripping foul on uh, John Waterman as he uh, tripped his opponent. Marty McQuaid. McQuaid is already four points on the evening, and he'll have one coming here. Moberly will meet Hannibal in their end of the regional playoffs. Folks around Moberly up in the air. The ball goes. It's through. 
five points for McQuaid. The folks in Lebanon, uh, if you wonder why I mentioned Moberly considerable, we are, uh, Moberly is uh, receiving this broadcast from us here at the Fieldhouse tonight. Barnes with the ball, right hands one up, it bounces away, Carr with a rebound, shoots, it falls short, Russell now takes it, he tries to get it up there, and it's missed, Carr again with a rebound, shoots, and it's missed, four shots, all missed, and the ball is handled now by McQuaid, who goes down fast on a drive, he's going to stop 15 feet short up, and it's good. He didn't take any chance on driving into the basket because uh, it was uh, zoned out then, and uh, he fired from about 12 to 15 feet away, and he fired for good. That's seven points for McQuaid here, Barnes now on the right side, a bounce pass over to two, Russell. He beats Carr high. The ball is knocked out of his hand, and it's a uh, uh, foul on the landing ham, and he recognized the fact that he had fouled Mike Carr, and he got his hand up in a hurry. So Carr will be at the free line. We've had uh, Mike nailed to zero points at the present time. One shot for Carr coming up. Hesitates, fires away, and it's good. That's his first uh, count of the evening. Neither team in the bonus side. Down the court real fast goes Lucas. Lucas, a good ball handler, a 5-5 five, uh, five boy. We have a 5-5 five, five player, too, and Johnny Rippey. All right, uh, he's very fast. One of the faster boys, really, uh, uh, that we've seen on a uh, Class L court this year. This uh, Darrell Lucas I'm speaking of. Barnes now gets around his guard. Off to Waterman, who's on the right. He looks like he might try it. The ball is almost knocked out of Barnes' hand. Back to Waterman on the right near the baseline to uh, Barnes behind the key. Moves in on a drive. He loses the ball. It is picked up there by William, Mike Williams. We have two Williams on the uh, uh, Spartan squad. Willie is uh, the present time not in the, not on the court. McQuaid around the left. Waterman on him, picked up by Lucas, fires up, and it's good. Lucas, four points for the evening. Lebanon will call timeout, and stations, let's break for 60 seconds. After Lebanon's timeout, the uh, Spartans leading 13 to 8, and again, we'll see Mike Carr at the free line. This is the lowest first quarter Mike's had for many games. All right, one shot coming for Mike Carr. Up in the air, the ball goes. He hesitates for he fires that ball up, and it is good. He is two out of three tonight from that line. So it's now 13 to nine. The Spartans with a slight lead. Down the court, going uh, McQuaid. McQuaid, is, the ball is picked up there by Morris, who saves it from going out of bounds, almost walking with it. McQuaid again with the ball on the dribble, round to the right with Russell on him. Gets the ball back to Lucas, who comes out to give him a hand. Lucas fires. They cut that boy loose, and it's a bad thing because he put in another two. This one from 25. Shot over everybody's head. 15 to 9 now. A minute and 23 seconds to go in the first quarter. Up the line here to Lebanon and KWIX in Boberle. It is uh, Barnes in the Waterman. In the car. Car fires. His first field goal of the night. Two points for Car there from about four feet out as he fires from the side. Now then, the uh, Spartans, once again, Lucas has cut loose, and he again is successful for that big long shot, this time from near the corner on the left side. 17 to 11, less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Barnes, Waterman, trading passes back for it. Waterman on a dribble. Cutting for his man is Russell. Back to Waterman. Waterman may cut loose with a long shot here in a moment. Russell with the ball. Russell cornered. Coming out is Barnes to help him at the top of the key. Waterman now with the ball with Lucas on him. He does, he fires. Ball is offside, and it is taken there by uh, Morris. Morris, back to Lucas once again. Down the court he goes. He's trying to get free. He does. He shoots. It's no good. And Carr with, uh, actually, Carr tipped it off to Bishop. Bishop with the ball, and uh, Waterman looks over to the coach for some sort of an instruction. The uh, referee... Pearson here, counting off the seconds. Across Lebanon goes. Russell to Barnes. Barnes goes through on a drive. He's going to try for the free lineup, and it's missed. Bounces way back. Carr with the rebound. Turns, jumps, and shoots, and it's good. Carr fires for two points, and it's 17-13. The second the quarter is over with the first quarter score, 13-17, to in favor of the visiting Oberly Spartans. I'll be back in one minute. Back to the uh, field house here. For the second quarter of this basketball game, 17 to 13, Mobley with the lead. Holding the first quarter scoring is Darrell Lucas and Marty McQuaid. Lucas was 11 pointer last night at Mobley at uh, Rolla. Waterman fires up, turns around and shoots, and it's good for the first second quarter basket 
17 to 15 now. 7:48. Well, actually, the second quarter just started. In the ball game is Willie Williams. Fires no good. The ball is picked up there by Mike Williams. No good. And uh, scramble in the basket, and we'll see a jump ball here betwixt Mike Morris and uh, Bob Bishop. Both boys about the same height. About six three. That's what Bob. And Mike both are 6'3", and uh, Morris is a junior, while Bishop is a senior. The tip is taken by Lucas up, and he shoots a little too hard. It's missed. It's rebounded by uh, Hudson, who is in the ball game. And, uh, and on his shot, he was uh, fouled. On that shot, he was fouled. So it will be the, uh, the Spartans. That's the charity line. Hudson at the free line. This is his first trip into the game. Fires away. It bounces back and no good. David Hudson, a 6'4 junior. Got a good nucleus here for next year's team. For the coach, one more shot coming for Hudson. Up, and this time it is good. Hudson puts his first counter of the evening. He was a two-pointer last night at Rolla. They defeated Rolla by a narrow margin. I don't recall the score, but it was 60-57, to 57, some similar score. However, they eked out a victory over the Rolla Bulldogs. Russell takes a nice pass from Barnes up, and he fires no good. Called off the boards by Mike Williams, and they scramble for the ball. Barnes is still on uh, Willie Williams, and uh, Willie still has the ball. Maintains control and gets the ball into the basket of whistle. Again, I believe Hudson will be at the charity line because Bishop pulls down a foul. Again, this will be Hudson at the charity line. It's is two fouls on uh, Bob Bishop. David Hudson at the free line once again. He's one for two, and he is this time is on a one-for-one one, uh, situation. Up the first one, bounces high back, no good. Rebounded by Bob Bishop. He holds the ball in his hands real tight. It's my ball. Back over to Waterman now. 18 to 15 to score. Seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Tuesday night is parents' night here in Lebanon. Into Russell. Back to Bishop on the right corner. Up and it's in and out. No good. And the ball is hauled down there by Hudson. Off to Lucas, who drives, drives down real fast. Hauls the back of the key. Into Williams. No good. The ball is knocked out of his hands in the hands of Barnes, who races the basket. Waterman is free, fires from the top of the key, and it bounces away. No good. Lucas takes the ball there. The ball bounces back in his hands. Lucas gets around Waterman on the left side. He's not free to shoot. Barnes on him. He's double-teamed, and he gets the ball free to uh, Mike Williams, and Williams holds in two points for the Spartans. 20 to 15 now as they pull away a little bit. Uh, Mike Williams was a uh, three-pointer last night at Rolla. And it's Russell. Back to Barnes. Off to Waterman. Waterman fires high in the air of whistle. We get a foul here called on Willie Williams. A personal foul on Willie Williams. This will be Waterman at the charity line. A hacking foul. And Waterman is a four-pointer. He will be at the free line for two shots for the Yellow Jacket. First one. Good. As you might have heard the crowd on that. Next one is good. No, it isn't. It bounces high and comes out. Russell takes the rebound, and he shoots his ball short. The ball is in the hands of Mike Williams, and now Lucas, the, uh, uh, Lucas bringing the ball down. Willie Williams gets through with his guard, Waterman, there. The left hand's one up. It's no good. We get a whistle underneath the basket, and Doug Russell will be charged with a personal foul. Doug Russell under the uh, Spartan basket. This is his second personal of the evening. Shooting will be Mike Morris. This is Morris's first trip at the bonus line. Hopefully Spartans, one of the top-ranked teams, class L-wise, in the state of Missouri. It's missed, and uh, there's a whistle. 